my friends. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today you're finally gonna find out what it is that I keep talking about here and what it is that you see me studying. So what is medtech finally? Okay, so this is Kathleen. Hi. <laughs> yeah, okay. So if you wanna find out what medtech is, what we study and experiences of people from second year to fourth year, then keep on watching. What are medical technologists? Okay, so I'm gonna read. So, medical technologists analyze samples of blood, tissue, and body fluids to determine chemical content, cell count, drug levels, or, or blood types that they may also search for specific microorganisms like bacteria and parasites. So, that's what medical technologists do. The people who collect your blood, the people who process your blood, and all the things considering blood, that's what medical technologists do. <laughs> what is BS Medical Technology here in USD? If you go to the USD website, I'm gonna put a link down below about the BS Medical Technology and its course description. And it says that the Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology is a four year program consisting of general education and professional subjects. The fourth year level is the one-year internship program and a commission on higher education accredited training laboratory with rotational duties in different sections such as the like. So I'll just put that in the link down below so you can check everything. Like what I said a while ago, we study general education subjects and professional subjects. So some of the professional subjects that we study is like parasitology, histology, clinical chemistry, biochemistry, everything. So I'll put that again in the link down below and you can just check that out. Okay, so now let's listen to some experiences of people from second year to fourth year and what they think about medical technology and the tips that they have to share with us. So keep on watching! Nag-medtech ako sa USD kasi nung nag-file ako ng usted, sabi lang ng mom ko, ano, buha ako sa USD ng program na maganda raw sa USD. So, medtech. To be honest, at the time, I didn't know, but then everyone was saying that like it was the best course to take if you wanna go to med school in the future. So, I just chose medtech. My sister, who is uh, a med student now, graduate, she had a hard time with nursing as well, so she made me take medtech. So I have like a I took medtech because I feel like it's the best medtech course out there for me. I really look at all of the medtech courses. I mean the pre-med courses that um, were appealing, but medtech when I compare the curriculums, it's like the best. Quote and quote best pre-med course. Yeah, because. I've noticed like all of my med student friends now, when I see their stories, it's like, oh my god, I know what they're studying. And it feels so good. Like, especially my intermed friends, I already know what they've studied. They're like second year med and I'm like, I studied that in first year. <laughs> yeah, of course, because um, it's one of all of the subjects that we take in third year are very, really related to med. Ngayon, siguro parasitology, kasi ang daming minememorize. And, Sa exam kasi sa lecture, 50% yung exam. So, ang laking, ano, ang laking hatak niya sa grade if mababa yung exam. Histology for me. I find para fun to learn. Even if like yeah. the exams are hard. Histology was like, just hard. Mokte, Hema, para. All of that, all my majors in third year, it's all so hard. Especially since we're taking it all together. It's just uh, blood banking, clinical, parasitology, bacteriology, uh, hematology. One. Since first year, people like I went crazy trying to study that. So bacte and hema. Sa akin, ano? Pag magme med school ka sobrang lack advantage ng medic yung pre med mo kasi. Yung mga professional subjects mo sa medic, yun din yung mga iti-take mo subjects sa med school. So parang nag-review ka na lang sa med school. So I think yun. I think the pros of studying med tech is, especially if you want to go to med school in the future, is that you have similar major subjects. Like with my sister being in med school now, we kind of have similar subjects. So what I'm studying, she's also studying. So I think that gives you an edge 
when you study medicine in the future. But if you don't, then you become a med tech, which is also cool. I feel like. Yes, you can learn a lot of things from it, like parasitology, bacteriology, all of that. But then the best thing that I can learn from it like, is the skill. Like, uh, like I've learned how to study really properly and uh, how to, I don't know, like the skills yeah, like you, when you're in the lab, uh, you really know how to work and you know how to adjust it. And I feel like that's really important. Really it's an internship, uh, really working with other people really balancing your time, really having the resilience yeah, to work day and night, kahit na wala. Siguro, ano, um, sobrang fun pag naging inuman kami ng mga black face. So, Slobotomy. Yeah, that was fun. Slobotomy was so fun. Painful! But fun. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Medtech is a fever dream. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But the funnest thing is what happened right now. <laughs> the funnest thing that I've learned so far is definitely event culture. It's so fun. Like it's addicting. Like once again. Palang matulog na, kasi pag nagmetik na kayo, hindi na kayo makakatulog ng maayos. And ano lang, um, coffee lang. Kasi hindi kayo matutulog. At saka tsaga kasi mahirap. Kaya ayun. Pero kaya naman pag sisipagan. Know what you're getting into because it isn't easy. But then, for those taking it right now, it's gonna be worth it in the future, I guess. I hope so! <laughs> I, hope. I really hope so! We'll get back to you on that in two years time, my God's grace. Expect the worst, but you have to be optimistic about it. Like, my greatest advice to the guys don't go in thinking it'll be easy. You have to know what you're doing so that you, you know, you're still happy. Don't give up. It's gonna be hard, but don't give up. Uh, for me, like, ayun nga, you really have to love what you're doing. Like, if I'm too stressed with APADS, literally, council is my stress reliever. And, yeah, if I'm too stressed with council, it's APADS that I go to. And it's just like a balancing act, like, of what you love. Know. Because I am someone who, really, who realizes that learning is outside the four walls of the classroom and it teaches me so much. You just really have to have the passion and the, really the drive to do it. Because once everything gets hard, you, it, it piles up and you just really have to have the heart for it. You keep on doing what you keep on doing. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to receive notifications if I post a new video. Never forget, there's nothing to it but to do it. Bye!